So let's cook some recipes. So good, let's do it. Eggplant, yes. why eggplant? This is but like peak, peak time. This is the place. time. And if you go to your local market, you'll see, I mean, really high quality heirloom eggplant. Really, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun to take these different ingredients and kind of find different recipes and how to really utilize what's, what's available for you. Here's the thing, how do you know what a good eggplant is? Well, you, you, like you said before, that smooth skin. Right. The, you know, you want it to be firm, but not overly firm, right? So you want it to have a little softness, but not too soft. Okay. You, you, want it, you want no discoloration, no bruises, things like that. And you just, you could see a good quality product when you look at it. And just always look for good quality products. So we have a bunch it. of different types I know. of I was eggplant curious, here. Do, do they all taste the same? They all taste differently. Uh, it, uh, the thing is, is like here we have this, this is a, a Prospera eggplant is from a farm upstate very large it's gorgeous yeah. and the seeds in that are very large as the seeds in this are kind of not so large and obviously as you get into the Asian eggplant uh, you know the Chinese eggplant things like that have no seeds so those you know it just takes takes a little less time to cook and they're it's interesting stuff it's really it's it's a nice it's a fun thing to do for chefs who are kind of nerdy and just cook a bunch of different eggplants, see which one works. Not nerdy, it's <laughs> cool to cook. Chicks oh, yeah, yeah, dig it, cool. let me tell you. No, that is true. You know, we all know that eggplant, <laughs> eggplant tends to be a little bitter, right? So, That's right. So what do we do? We peel it with like a regular potato slicer, right? Exactly. You're going to peel it and then what you do is you kind of salt it. So with this, salt I'll let it sit it. for about an hour and a half because it's, it's going to cook very lightly and the more you let it sit, the more extraction of the bitterness is going to come out. Oh. So that's the intention, is to really kind of get all that bitterness out and, and just Okay, so peel it, salt it, it and then that's what, right. And this? we press it like this with a little weight on, on top oh, of let it, me right? Show. So you can see all the juice that's starting to come out. You got the eggplant there, you put that here, you press it for how long? For an hour and a half. Before you even case. cook it. Before you even cook it. All right. So in this case, this has already been pressed. I'm going to brush it with a little bit of of olive oil and I don't need a lot that's the thing a lot of people add too much oil to eggplant when they cook it and what happens is it really just starts to fry in its own juice and you want to stay away from that hot grill super hot, hot grill super hot grill you can see and I've grilled some before mm, so we don't beautiful. have to waste our time doing right. this now, and I'm gonna ask you yes because you're so wonderful you. to to just well you know what I'll do it for you just so you can take it easy I have a little bit of balsamic vinegar a little red wine vinegar a little uh -huh. sprinkle What's of this? oregano that's basil basil we're gonna add a little bit of a little bit of salt Already. to that also. And then a <laughs> Just little rosemary? And olive that is basil. Oh basil. And I then don't know my some, some olive oil. Sorry. It's all right. And then Ooh. what I'll do with this is I'll let that sit for about twenty four hours. Okay. And the salt inside there also it's a great it's quality like a of salt. No? No, no, not at all. <laughs> There's nothing to do with this. Without one. the bread? I mean, no. I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. No, but this is gonna be a vinaigrette. You see how later on it kind of all this all this beautiful <laughs> juice is in there, right? And then? They're, they're, they're already yes, taken right. over. So then we roll it, we put the... We put the arugula inside like we have here, right? We have this arugula inside and we stuff it and we put the tomato vinegar on, on the oh bottom and we just oh. toss that arugula inside so and oh stuff it. Man. It's delicious. What beautiful. It's delicious. Now, what are they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about oh, right. oh, nice to see you. This is caponata, so you have... That's a little caponata, oh. which is a traditional, traditional Sicilian eggplant dish. And then the mezzaluna is filled with a taleggio cheese and a puree, excuse me, a puree of eggplant as and well. And it's not Little chewy. Stew tomatoes. That's so, what's so great about this carbonara, it's delicious. It's good stuff. Well, as predicted, off the chart. Thank you, sir. Very good. I appreciate Scott really, it. Did really not disappoint. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank if you, you want more of Scott's great recipes, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Can you close because we're eating? Yeah, yeah have a great day, everybody. Eat. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh -huh. My turn to eat. <laughs>